Hello, good afternoon to everyone. Um, my name is Christina Jäger. I come from Germany and I work at the Grameen Creative Lab. It's a great pleasure. Oh, yeah, the slides are. Um, it's a great pleasure to be here, and it's my first time at WeShare Festival. And um, as it was mentioned, I come from a different background from the social business uh, world. And the aim of my talk today will be to uh, give you an introduction to the social business community and also to talk um, how collaborative economy entrepreneurs or companies um, could increase their social impact by applying the social business philosophy. Um, so Grameen Creative Lab was co-founded by Professor Mohamed Yunus, which is a Bangladeshi economist that received the Nobel Peace Prize in 2006 for his achievements in economic and social development from below. What he was doing is uh, actually a very simple thing. Whenever he saw a social problem in society, he was thinking on how to design a company to address that social problem. And the first social business he created was Grameen Bank, a bank that is um, providing uh, tiny microloans to very poor people in order to help them become entrepreneurs and set up their own micro enterprises to generate an income for themselves and to um, get out of poverty eventually. It is a bank that, as I said, is working with uh, the poorest of the poor without any collateral, a bank that is basically based on trust and also where community plays a very important role. Grameen uh, is Bangla and means village. So it's a village bank, a bank that is only operating in the rural area. And also the loan proposals are not being made individually, but women, women who are the main customers of these banks, of, the, of, the, of Grameen Bank, um, have to form groups of five. And each of them um, have to present a different business uh, proposal. So in case one woman would have difficulties in repaying the loan, the other woman could help her out. So this is the story of Grameen Bank. And throughout the course, Professor Yunus has created more than uh, 50 other Grameen companies that are all running as social businesses. And one of the latter ones is the, this is jumping very fast, is the Grameen Creative Lab. Uh, we are based in Germany. And our goal is to raise awareness about social business and help implement the social business concept um, outside of Bangladesh uh, in, in any country basically around the world. So what we do is we, we also organize conferences and workshops where people could learn and connect. Um, we incubate uh, new social business ideas and we also provide consulting services for entrepreneurs or companies who are interested in setting up a social business. To give you a definition, a social business is a no loss, no dividend company with the only purpose of solving a social problem. So from the outside of how a social business looks like and how it is operated, it's not too different to a traditional business. It's also registered as a for-profit company since it uh, needs to make a profit to be self-sustainable. But the difference is that it's driven by its social mission. And the other difference is that the surplus a social business would make um, will not be given out in form of dividends to shareholders or investors, but will be reinvested for growing the business, for improving its products and services. And um, how do you create a social business? Um, in the first step, you need to make an analysis of what are the most pressing social needs out there. So you can look around in your community, in your city, in your country, of what is bothering you, of what you would like to change. And then the second step, we also apply design thinking methodologies. We go and talk to the, to the target group to explore what are their needs, what is their affordability, and then we make a prioritization and choose uh, the one problem we want to address and for that design social or think of social business ideas. And in the last step, actually creating a business plan, the financial plan like you would do in any other business. 
that you could then look for investors to find startup capital and actually um, start your business. So also social businesses, they are looking for investors. The difference if you're investing in a social business is that, let's say, if you give 50,000 euros, um, you can get back those 50,000 euros, but nothing beyond, since uh, you will have a social return on your investment, which is uh, the, the social impact that this social business is trying to achieve. To give you some examples of how social businesses look like, um, okay, now it's jumping again. <laughs> Going back. Where do I have to click? One back. Yeah. Um, Mamu is a Latvian um, high quality fashion company that is run as a social business. You can see on the monitor pictures of its first uh, production line, which are um, scarves made out of cutting waste that are um, for fashion saving people, customers. So in that case, it's not the product itself that provides the social impact, but it's through its operations, through its um, value chain. Uh, the issue that Mamu is addressing is that Latvian mothers, especially single mothers, are having difficulties in combining childcare and um, working on the traditional market. What Mamu does is they train the mothers in the skills for reducing their products. They help them set up their own micro enterprises at home. They provide them the materials so that the mothers can work from home whenever they have the time to. Then Mamu rebuys the products and sells them online and through retail sh shops. Um, it's a great example for a social business that started also at a very low um, startup capital and that successfully scaled up to a um, yeah, quite relevant amount since uh, the co-founder Fion, he started to um, produce or design the products with popular Latvian designers that enabled him and market to um, other global designers. And last year he managed to get into a collaboration with Ernst Alexander, who was a New York City-based designer. And um, the designs from that collection are coming from New York City, from Ernst Alexander's. They are being produced by the mothers in Latvia and then sold in, the, in Fifth Avenue, New York, and having a great impact on those women in Latvia. Another example is a Dialogue in the Dark. Um, the social business addresses uh, two social needs. One is that disabled people, particularly blind people, are having huge difficulties in finding jobs, even in developed countries like Germany. Only about 15% have a job, um, plus the interaction between disabled and able people is hindered by stereotypes, leading to a lot of prejudices. And that social business um, employs these people. Um, they have a um, exhibition in complete darkness where visitors are being guided by blind guides so that the blind people, uh, or being blind, becomes the advantage. They become the eyes of the visitors. And that will have a really long-lasting effect on, on you as a visitor. And they have um, further developed other products, for example, having dinners in the dark or doing workshops in darkness um, for companies, for leadership training. And then also expanded to other senses and including um, other groups with disabilities. For example, Dialogue in Silence, who is working with uh, deaf people, or were recently Dialogue in Time, who is dealing with the topic of aging and the challenges of demographic change. And that social business um, was able to scale up on a global basis through a franchise model. So you will find a Dialogue in the Dark in more than 30 countries around the world. And yet again, also social businesses will apply the typical um, business methodologies that are out there in order to grow. Um, here is another example from Bangladesh. It's called Grameen Shakti, uh, Village Energy. It's a, a renewable energy company that works uh, in the rural fields. And um, I want to show you 
the UBI's uh, sales of the solar home systems that they had from the beginning until today. And you see that within the first five years, they were hardly able to sell anything. And um, I think any traditional company would have made an exit at that point of view. But since it was a social business and driven by the social mission, they were very uh, resilient and um, fighting for overcoming these challenges. And eventually, after almost 10 years, they gained exponential growth. And today, uh, Grammy Chakti is the largest rural renewable energy country in the world. So maybe one thing out there for entrepreneurs, if you're looking for challenges, then do social business. It's much more difficult than doing or running a normal business. Um, now I want to give you two examples of a social business or social initiative that apply a collaborative um, approach. Um, Vimov is a French um, car share riding platform that is um, offering services for unemployed people who are lacking uh, mobility or access to mobility. Because um, a major reason why unemployed people can't find a job, especially for long-term unemployed, is that they are not even considering jobs um, somewhere where it's hard for them to get there. So on this platform, those beneficiaries can sign up or apply, and then they make an analysis about their needs, and they will be taken care of in order to get them back into jobs. Another example is uh, this one from Colombia. It's called Rural Life Colombia, where you have the possibility to spend your vacation uh, and find accommodation in the house of um, a local uh, rural um, family, where you will have very basic, um, uh, yeah, very basic accommodation, yet get a very good sense of how it feels to live on, on the countryside and probably also get very delicious um, homemade food. And the fees that you are paying in order to stay there will be used to improve the houses of those people. For example, improving the roof or sanitation. And now coming back to the, to the shared economy, um, I think there are many great examples out there that are purpose-driven and that are having a social impact. Yet I think um, we could do much more in, uh, in serving um, people at the bottom of the pyramid in both developing and developed countries. And I think often those people are forgotten and entrepreneurs also miss an opportunity of a very large market. So um, my conclusion is to, um, one of the principles in social business is to do it with joy. And um, if you're not having joy with what you're doing at the moment, maybe it's time to, to try out social business. Thank you.